What's up chickies, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be going over the Apollo Triage and the Apollo Medivac and how you can use them in game once they are released. So obviously these are heavily modified, you know, medical ships. And the reason I'm talking about them today is because they're going to be a really important uh, ship to have on, later on down the track. Now I know I've covered medical gameplay and medical vessels in the past, so go check those videos out. But I'm just going to be like covering this sort of, this ship variant, you know, within itself nothing else just these ships so we know that when these ships come out we're gonna have the medivac we're gonna have the triage the triage obviously being sort of the more civilian one where the medivac is the more military based one and from what i can understand the medivac will be able to change beds from tier 2 to tier 1 and so forth and actually have the ability to have more control over the beds so these ships are obviously going to play a massive role when the game is actually out for you. So like when you have Pyro and you have that derelict system and there's a lot of criminal like criminal activity around, I think that these are going to be playing a massive role in that. So if you don't already know, there's no real medical vessels in the game. There are medical vessels in the game, like you've got the Carrick obviously with the beds, you've got the um, Cuddy Red, you've got the 890 Jump with a uh, medical bed in it, but again... There's no real dedicated ship in the game to do this. So, you know, it brings to the point that, you know, we're going to need these ships later on and there's just going to be need to be uses. People are going to know what, want to know what to do with them, how to use them and what they're going to do with them later on down the track when they take these game roles on to, um, you know, when they take them, on, or take them on board. Before we get into it, don't forget to check out our Monster Tech discount code down in the description below. Toby and use our Star Citizen referral code. Join our Discord too. So with these ships, obviously they're very targeted. They're they're very niche in what they do. So we, you know, you can't really go and do anything else with them but medical. So when you're going to get into the game and you're going to do this medical gameplay, you're going to want to know a little bit more about them. You're going to want to know what you can do with them later on down the track and what the particular, you know, military function of these ships and their sort of uses for the beds so we're going to go straight into it with these ones you know with the medivac in particular that one is actually designed to go straight into sort of combat areas it's sort of you know it's got that missile defense on it it's a little bit hardier and it's a little bit like i said a bit better than the triage where the triage is sort of more of a civilian based vessel and this one's more of a military based um, medical vessel as given the name medivac and then you got triage obviously so with the medivac i would definitely suggest getting one of these if you can lay your hands on one they're not too difficult to get your hands on um concios did give me access to mine so i'm very thankful for that so when you're actually getting into it um get these ships when you're going to do the gameplay you know you can use them in military use applications you can use them when you're in clasher so if someone comes out and they die from you know um the oxygenation of not having oxygen because you know they could come out into the atmosphere and they run out of oxygen on their suit i would definitely use it for that i would use it for uh, bounty hunting as well crime sat hacking because obviously we know that death of a spaceman is coming you can now lose your inventory and all your gear so Keep that in mind, that's going to be something that's going to be really big later on, and it's going to be big in 3.15, so you better prepare yourself for this change, because I, I dare say that this is going to be a massive change within the game. So with the applicable uses and the intended uses for these vessels, I would definitely think about taking this vessel into a combat scenario, being the medivac, obviously that's what it's going to be designed for. If you don't want to do that, then I can guarantee, well, I can suggest that you get the, uh, the triage for that more of a civilian uh, pointed direction so with the medivac you can take it into uh, like battle zones obviously i would use it for something like clasher at the current state of time i would take it over into pyro if i really did need it there because obviously that's not really going to have too much to go off with medical facilities also i think that when you're going to be doing a battle with like Idris or you're going to be doing a lot of PvP missions or PvE missions, when you're doing that sort of stuff, cave missions and the new defense and attack missions, this is going to play a major role in that and you actually being revived because you're going to need that person there if you do get hurt and you do die. So we're going to be a lot more careful in the verse now. Um, again, like you can use the triage for this, but you just gonna be a little bit wary where the medivac has that ability, and they also do have drones, so you can send the drone and pick up like nearly 500 pounds worth of weight, and then bring them to you, where you don't have to go and get them and risk your vessel. Where you can just stay in the one location where you could be primarily based off of 
we don't know the range of these drones obviously it's going to be something that um, we're going to have to sort of wait till we get that information later on down the track obviously these drones are going to be very specific they're going to actually be able to cover the patient up so they're going to be fully protected from any sort of projectile or any sort of explosion anything really that's going to put them in harm now I know a lot of the capital ships are going to have tier 1 beds, people are going to say they're, they're going to have a tier 2, it's a tier 1 ship, like it's a capital ship with, you know, it's going to have tier 1 beds in it. So I think it would also be beneficial to have this in a fleet support uh, sort of game role, I mean you can have it with a Kraken and a Javelin Idris obviously, but those ships have got those, uh, those uh, game functions on them, so when you're actually taking up the time to take this game roll i would take it out with like a valkyrie and some drop ships a redeemer the Ares. you know if you're going to be doing some ground ops but again if you get blown up and you may be able to get revived then you know that bd vac's going to really help you out there and the drone functionality is going to be one of the best things to have so beyond this as well you could using it in mining ops as well uh, as a backup if someone were to come in and attack you again you could also just use it in case you did get injured or you hit a rock wrong uh just any sort of basic functionality i would also contract the ship out if no one had one obviously taking it out to pyro or nix being that you know there's no governed uh governed bodies in those systems so there's a lot of gonna there's gonna be a lot of criminal activity around those zones so taking this out using the opportunity to learn this vessel getting your friends in there as well because i don't think you're going to be able to use these by yourself Combat situations are obviously going to be the predominant use for these vessels, but like I said, take it to Clesher, take it Crime Stat hacking, doing ground missions, doing NPC missions, it's going to have an applicable use down there as well. I'm definitely not going to just narrow down one sort of game role where the triage is obviously going to be more civilian based if someone gets injured. They're going to have search and rescue missions for these vessels as well, uh, reviving, searching for someone and helping them. Like I said, there's always going to be that targeted mission list there, so keep it in mind. Let me know what you think down in the comments section because I think these ships are going to be really valuable in game once they are fully released and operational. So, you know, educate yourself a little bit more. There will be more videos on these later on down the track. And, you know, it's been Baron. I'll see you in the verse.